from Audio Panda and this is the production breakdown for the title track of our new EP I of the Storm. So, when I heard the demo, I felt like the song was was meant to be more stripped down and calm with not a lot going on but just enough to quote unquote hit you in the feels. Um I produced this on Logic and I exported the stems and got the, got it into Pro Tools um just because I like to mix on Pro Tools. Um Two major references that I use for the production of Five the Storm were Emoji of a Wave by John Mayer and I'm with you by Vance Joy. Um these are songs that I really really love and um I felt like I could use them as references because they they're in that same emotional vibe. They're very calming and very settled and mellow and just emotional and I felt that I of the Storm was meant to be in that category. Um so without further ado, let's see what's in this. Um so the song is given by the acoustic guitar uh for which we used a micing technique called the midside technique but we didn't exactly get the desired results for from it so we just stuck to the the mic that that picked up uh the guitar from its sweet spot which is like the 12th or 14th fret um and we worked around that On top of that acoustic guitar picking which drives the song, we also had Harshit, a very talented guitarist, play a few riffs and licks um here and there just just for enhancement. Um I also added a Wolitz piano which played the chords um and a, like a few runs just to add that body to the song. Um I then added some sine bells um which sound something like this. I used the sign bells for some interludes and just fillers towards the end of the song. Um and I felt it added like some nice you know like wind chime sort of vibe. Um I also used a string section um taking inspiration from um Emoji of a Wave. And um so the strings are split into three sections. I used one set of strings to play the chords. Um and i used another section to add some top end melody to those chords so they're not exactly they don't exactly play a melody but they just add um some top end additions to those chords so take a listen but if i take a step forward the other ones will be I just felt like it needed that space. Um and the third section of the strings um include a double bass. Um uh, moving on, I also added a couple of pads to the production. Um one of them is just one that plays in the start and the end. Um and this is something I took inspiration from Vance Joy's I'm with you from. Um so there's this weird sample, well not weird, it's it's it works in the context of the song. Um and it's it's just it's it's a sample that just plays throughout and um I think he used it in more than one song but it uh, to me when I heard that I was I was transported to like this storm or like night setting so it's just one hit of a pad um take a listen so I felt like that w- that was a good indication of I, I felt like it would um establish that mental image of a storm for some reason like it did to me and the other pad that i included just plays um the first and the fifth note almost throughout the whole song and the reason i added this was because to me it just the first and the fifth note can do wonders um it just i don't know how i don't know how to explain it but it can it it has potential to add so much emotion and body to a song um that it it just hits different um and so i wanted to include that um in this song to give that to bring out that ambience um next i added an rpg editor because i was experimenting and i came across this and i was like okay this might not be bad to add in so yeah it's just two hits at like two points in the song and it's just one of those supporting elements that 
I thought would enhance the production. Um, and then I added a bass guitar, with, with which would just glue the whole thing together. Um, and then towards the end of the song, I added a simple kick and snare pattern for the drums. Um, at that high point in the song, when it reaches the second chorus, um, so just a simple kick and snare pattern. And I wanted the the um, the kick and snare. To, I wanted the snare to have a long reverb tail, uh, which would make it sound big and uh, add to that emotional value of the song. Um, and that storm setting that was um, in my head. And that's all for the instruments. Um, moving on to vocals, again, there's not a lot going on in this in this in the whole song in general. So those are my lead vocals, uh, which I was very grateful to be singing. Th this song is my favorite of the three, uh, not because I've produced it, but uh, it's just some there's something, not something, everything about the song just hit different. Um, the lyrics, the melody, the composition, the chords, um, the relevance of the song to our the theme of our EP of being quarantined and emotions in quarantine, it, it hit me different. And so I was really grateful to have sung the lead vocals for this song. And on top of my vocals, um, we've got some amazing harmonies from the songwriter Ananya. Um, I absolutely ad adore Ananya's talent. Um, she's done I feel she's done an amazing job on the whole EP. And she's an insanely talented musician as well. So we've got some background vocals, some harmonies in the in the verses, and there's also this chorusy section um, in the chorus. Of course, um, this is what it sounds like. Oh. Oh. I just added that body to that that section when the, the drums kick in um and yeah that's pretty much it for eye of the storm um a very cliche sentence uh, but i hope that whoever listens to our song and our ep um enjoys it as much as we enjoyed making it and that's all from me i hope you like our work and do check out our previous ep as well um, when i saw you it's up on our soundcloud and our our socials are linked in the description below Thank you.